Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome to the Kingdom of Faith Outdoors channel. My name is Miguel Fuentes and I am the minister and a wildlife expert or zoologist as, as many people will call it. And, um, you know, today we're going to get into Jeremiah chapter 30 through 34 today. <clears throat> Man, just had a pretty powerful worship before I start making this video because, you know, it's very important. As you know, the body of Christ is to worship the Lord. You know, even even additional words, you know, songs. You know, if you if you play one of those uh, soaking worship musics, you know, just just a faint piano in the background. Just just you know, as as you pray, as you give glory to God, sometimes the Holy Spirit will give you songs to sing. You know, Amen. And so it is this powerful, powerful worship. <clears throat> So, uh, for that being said, um, man, it's already December, and uh, God is about to do something good uh, in these few few weeks that we have left. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and pray. Let's get in, get into the Word. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just uh, thank you, Lord, for the day. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Father, you are holy mighty worthy to be praised lord father we we ask that lord if we have sin in our hearts lord lord we repent <clears throat> wash us clean by your blood forgive us of the sin lord we forgive, we forgive ourselves for committing these sins lord and lord we ask that you would help us lord pick right back up and start and, and continue on walking with you lord and help me, lord to sorry help us lord to grow stronger in you so that we may resist the temptation. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 30. Let's go ahead and read. Chapter 30. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations whither I have scattered thee, Yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. <clears throat> For thus saith the Lord, Thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have forgotten thee, they seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. 
Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places, and the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me. And I will punish all that oppress them. And their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. <clears throat> and I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me, saith the Lord? And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it, and until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days ye shall consider it. All right, chapter, 20, uh, chapter 31. <clears throat> chapter 31. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Again I will build thee, and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, and shalt go forth in the dances of them that make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant, and shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day that the watchmen upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Zion unto the Lord our God. For thus saith the Lord, Sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country, and gather them from the coasts of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. They shall come with weeping, and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him, and keep him, as a shepherd doth his flock. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob, and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Amen. Therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion, and shall flow together to the goodness of the Lord, for wheat, and for wine, and for oil, and for the young of the flock and of the herd. And their soul shall be as a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more at all. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together, for I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them, and make them rejoice from their sorrow. 
and I will satiate the soul of the priests with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rahel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children, because they were not. Thus saith the Lord, Refrain thy voice from weeping, and thine eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. And there is hope in thine end, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border. I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself thus, Thou hast chastised me, and I was chastised as a bullock unaccustomed to the yoke. Turn thou me, and I shall be turned, for thou art the Lord my God. Surely after that I was turned, I repented, and after that I was instructed, I smote upon my thigh. I was ashamed, yea, even confounded, because I did bear the reproach of my youth. Son, is he a pleasant child? For since I spake against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore my bowels are troubled for him. I will surely have mercy upon him, saith the Lord. Set thee up waymarks, make thee high heaps. Set thine heart toward the highway, even the way which thou wentest. Turn again, O virgin of Israel, turn again to these thy cities. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, As yet they shall use this speech in the land of Judah and in the cities thereof, when I shall bring again their captivity. The Lord bless thee, O habitation of justice and mountain of holiness. And there shall dwell in Judah itself and in all the cities thereof together husbandmen and they that go forth with flocks. For I have satiated the weary soul, and I have replenished every sorrowful soul. Upon this I awaked, and beheld, and my sleep was sweet unto me. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and with the seed of beast. And it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them, to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so will I watch over them to build and to plant, saith the Lord. In those days they shall say no more, The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But every one shall die for his own iniquity. Every man that eateth the sour grape his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. Mm. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel, after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts, and write it in their hearts, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. Amen. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. Mm. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel 
for all that they have done, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the city shall be built to the Lord from the tower of Hananiel unto the gate of the corner, and the measuring line shall yet go forth over against it upon the hill Garib, and shall compass about to Goath. And the whole valley of the dead bodies and of the ashes, and all the fields unto the brook of Kidron, unto the corner of the horse gate toward the east, shall be holy unto the Lord. It shall not be plucked up nor thrown down any more forever. Amen. Chapter 32. <clears throat> Chapter 32. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the tenth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadrezzar. For then the king of Babylon's army besieged Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet was shut up in the court of the prison which was in the king of Judah's house. For Zedekiah king of Judah had shut him up, saying, Wherefore dost thou prophesy, and say, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And Zedekiah king of Judah shall not escape out of the hand of the Chaldeans, but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon, and shall speak with him mouth to mouth, and his eyes shall behold his eyes. And he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon, and there shall he be until I visit him, saith the Lord. Though ye fight with the Chaldeans, ye shall not prosper. And Jeremiah said, The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, Hanamiel the son of Shalom thine uncle shall come unto thee, saying, Buy thee my field that is in Anathoth, for the right of redemption is thine to buy it. So Hanamiel mine uncle's son came to me in the court of the prison according to the word of the Lord, and said unto me, Buy my field, I pray thee, that is in Anathoth, which is in the country of Benjamin. For the right of inheritance is thine, and the redemption is thine. Buy it for thyself. Then I knew that this was the word of the Lord. And I bought the field of Hanamiel, my uncle's son, that was in Anathoth, and weighed him the money, even seventeen shekels of silver. And I subscribed the evidence and sealed it, and took witnesses, and weighed him the money in the balances. So I took the evidence of the purchase, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom, and that which was open. And I gave the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch, the son of Neriah, the son of Maasiah, in the sight of Hanamiel, mine uncle's son, and in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the book of the purchase before all the Jews that sat in the court of the prison. And I charged Baruch before them, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Take these evidences, this evidence of the purchase, both which is sealed, and this evidence which is open, and put them in an earthen vessel, that they may continue many days. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. Now when I had delivered the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch the son of Neriah, I prayed unto the Lord, saying, Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands, and recompensest the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great... The mighty God, the Lord of hosts, is his name. Great in counsel and mighty in work, for thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men, to give every one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, which hast set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt even unto this day, and in Israel, and among other men, and hast made thee a name as at this day, and hast brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs, and with wonders, and with a strong hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with great terror, and hast given them this land which thou didst swear to their fathers to give them, a land flowing with milk and honey. 
and they came in and possessed it. But they obeyed not thy voice, neither walked in thy law. They have done nothing of all that thou commandedst them to do. Therefore thou hast caused all this evil to come upon them. Behold the mounts, they are come unto the city to take it, and the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans that fight against it, because of the sword, and of the famine, and of the pestilence. And what thou hast spoken is come to pass, and behold, thou seest it. And thou hast said unto me, O Lord God, Buy thee the field for money, and take witnesses. For the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the Chaldeans, and into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And the Chaldeans that fight against this city shall come and set fire on this city, and burn it with the houses upon whose roofs they have offered incense unto Baal, and poured out drink <coughs> offerings unto other gods, to provoke me to anger. For the children of Israel and the children of Judah have only done evil before me from their youth. For the children of Israel have only provoked me to anger with the work of their hands, saith the Lord. For this city hath been to me as a provocation of mine anger and of my fury from the day that they built it, even unto this day, that I should remove it from before my face, because of all the evil of the children of Israel and of the children of Judah, which they have done to provoke me to anger. They, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they have turned unto me the back, and not the face. Though I taught them, rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive instruction. But they set their abominations in the house which is called by my name, to defile it. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. And now therefore thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning this city, whereof ye say, It shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whither I have driven them in mine anger, and in my fury, and in great wrath. And I will bring them again unto this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. And they shall be my people, and I will be their God." And I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the good of them and of their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from them to do them good. But I will put my fear in their hearts, that they shall not depart from me. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. For thus saith the Lord, Like as I have brought all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. And fields shall be bought in this land, whereof ye say, It is desolate without man or beast. It is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Men shall buy fields for money, and subscribe evidences, and seal them, and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin, and in the places about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, and in the cities of the mountains, and in the cities of the valley, and in the cities of the south. For I will cause their captivity to return, saith the Lord. Amen. 33. Chapter 33 Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time, 
while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have slain in mine anger and in my fury, and for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from this city. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them as at the first. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Thus saith the Lord, Again there shall be heard in this place, which ye say shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, that are desolate without man and without inhabitant and without beast, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth for ever, and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause to return the captivity of the land, as at the first, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Again in this place which is desolate without man and without beast, and in all the cities thereof, shall be an habitation of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. In the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the vale, and in the cities of the south, and in the land of Benjamin, and in the places about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, shall the flocks pass again under the hands of him that telleth them, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. In those days and at that time will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely, and this is the name wherewith she shall be called, the Lord our righteousness. For thus saith the Lord, David shall never want a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel. Neither shall the priests, the Levites, want a man before me to offer burnt offerings, and to kindle meat offerings, and to do sacrifice continually. Mm. And the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, If ye can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in their season, then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant, that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne, and with the Levites, the priests, my ministers. As the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured, so will I multiply the seed of David my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Considerest thou not what this people have spoken, saying, The two families which the Lord hath chosen, he hath even cast them off? Thus they have despised my people, that they should be no more a nation before them. Thus saith the Lord, If my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, 
Then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them. Chapter 34. <clears throat> Chapter 34. The word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, when Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and all his army, and all the kingdoms of the earth of his dominion, and all the people, fought against Jerusalem, and against all the cities thereof, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Go and speak to Zedekiah, king of Judah, and tell him, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. And thou shalt not escape out of his hand, but shalt surely be taken and delivered into his hand. And thine eye shall behold the eyes of the king of Babylon, and he shall speak with thee mouth to mouth, and thou shalt go to Babylon." Yet hear the word of the Lord, O Zedekiah, king of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of thee, Thou shalt not die by the sword, but thou shalt die in peace, and with the burnings of thy fathers, the former kings which were before thee. So shall they burn odors for thee, and they will lament thee, saying, Ah, Lord, for I have pronounced the word, saith the Lord. Then Jeremiah the prophet spake all these words unto Zedekiah king of Judah in Jerusalem, when the king of Babylon's army fought against Jerusalem, and against all the cities of Judah that were left, against Lachish, and against Azekah, for these defense cities remained of the cities of Judah. This is the word that came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, after that the king Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people which were at Jerusalem, to proclaim liberty unto them. That every man should let his manservant, and every man his maidservant, being in Hebrew or in Hebrewess, go free. That none should serve himself of them, to wit, of a Jew his brother." Now when all the princes and all the people which had entered into the covenant heard that every one should let his manservant and every one his maidservant go free, that none should serve themselves of them any more, then they obeyed and let them go. But afterward they turned and caused the servants and the handmaids whom they had let go free to return and brought them into subjection for servants and for handmaids. Therefore the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondmen, saying, At the end of seven years let ye go every man his brother in Hebrew, which hath been sold unto thee. And when he hath served these six years, thou shalt let him go free from thee. But your fathers hearken not unto me, neither incline their ear. And ye were now turned, and had done right in my sight, in proclaiming liberty every man to his neighbor. And ye had made a covenant before me in the house, which is called by my name. But ye turned and polluted my name, and caused every man his servant, and every man his handmaid, whom ye had set at liberty at their pleasure, to return, and brought them into subjection, to be unto you for servants and for handmaids. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Ye have not hearkened unto me, in proclaiming liberty every one to his brother, and every man to his neighbor. Behold, I proclaim a liberty for you, saith the Lord, to the sword, to the pestilence, and to the famine, and I will make you to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And I will give the men that have transgressed my covenant, which have not performed the words of the covenant which they had made before me, when they cut the calf in twain and passed between the parts thereof, the princes of Judah and the princes of Jerusalem, the eunuchs and the priests, and all the people of the land which pass between the parts of the calf, I will even give them into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of them that seek their life, 
and their dead bodies shall be for meat unto the fowls of the heaven and to the beasts of the earth. And Zedekiah king of Judah and his princes will I give into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of them that seek their life, and into the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which are gone up from you. Behold, I will command, saith the Lord, and cause them to return to this city, and they shall fight against it, and take it, and burn it with fire. And I will make the cities of Judah a desolation, without an inhabitant. Amen. Well, what do we have here? <clears throat> so we see that that God is promising Judah and the whole entire Israel um, the promise that that God has proclaimed. God wants to uh, wants you know, a restoration bring bring the heart to God. You know, be, uh, sorry, um, rest the, the restoration <clears throat> to bring people, you know, you know, to bring man, you know, their heart to God. God promised to his people is to bring restoration in this nation, okay? And through the New Testament, that is fulfilled. And that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be the eternal high priest. And, and, and also that, it is very, very important that, you know, uh, I think in chapter 31, Chapter 31, verse 33. I will put my law into the inward part, and I will write it in their hearts, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. Okay, this is a really crucial part of, of, of this prophecy. And secondly, the new covenant that Jesus already fulfilled. That Jeremiah's prophecy is a very point to understand. So not only God is warning them that if you don't repent, you will be punished. But Jesus taught about uh, about repent or perish through the Gospels. And, and so it, it's very, very crucial that that we must understand this, this, uh, this things. So... Um, and that, that's not gonna help me. Okay, so we 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 see that this this is a very important part of the prophecy, and you know we we see that Paul, um, Paul mentioned that we are the temple of God, and that God. Um, written our laws into our hearts. I think in, in uh, the book of Hebrews talks about it more plainly. Um, and um, uh, Matthew Henry uh, said this in his, in his uh, commentary that, that God will renew his covenant with them so that all these blessings they, ha they shall have not by uh, providence only. Uh, but by promise, and thereby they shall be both sweetness and secured. And we see this in Hebrews chapter eight, sorry, Hebrews chapter eight, uh, verses eight and nine. Says for finding fault with them, he says, "Behold, the days come," says the Lord. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. And verse 9 says, Not according to the, co the covenant that I made with the fathers, but in the day which I took, by, uh, took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regard them not, says the Lord. So, you know, in the book of Hebrews, he, he uh, referenced that. Um, 
Number three, God's assurance for us to return to Him. How many times have we backslidden from the Lord? Personally, I believe that backslidden, uh, backsliding is a season where you fell into sin and you like your sin until you are sick of it. That's when you want to turn back to the Lord. I think this is a, a season, I think every believer uh, have some sort of backsliding uh, testimonies, you know, they, they, they went back to sin and they know that these things are evil upon the Lord and and they're, they're becoming tasteless to them. Um, so they repent and they, they um, went back to the Lord. So God will always forgive you when you fell short. You know, for me, you know, I felt I'll, I fall short so many times. But yet God, yet God always gave me, um, sorry, God always forgive me for what I've done and I have to forgive myself for sinning, for sinning against the Lord. Uh, that's why, that's why forgiveness is very important, you know. Um, but in closing, um, are we willing to turn back to God? Jeremiah pleads for Judah to return back, but yet they rejected. And, you know, the Babylonians are either at Jerusalem right now or, or, um, or somewhere in, in Judah. It, you know, it's going to be a lot worse when we continue on. To Jeremiah. God is calling us back. Repent or perish. Because it's, it's, it's all about your choices. I just want to read to you a prayer that I wrote. You know about this. <clears throat> oh Father God. Have mercy on me. For backsliding against you. I feel empty and void of my own sins. That I confess to you today. Prune all the bad fruit that I have harvested, and renew my heart. Forgive me, O oh Lord, for backsliding. I humble myself and ask that you will restore me. Fill my heart with joy and thanksgiving. I miss your presence, O oh Lord. Amen. Hope you enjoyed the service. Uh, next Saturday, we're going to get into Jeremiah chapter 35 to uh, 39. And then uh, Sunday, we'll get into Jeremiah chapter 40, first, chapters 40 to 44. And yeah, so we are almost done with the book of Jeremiah. Hope you guys enjoyed this service. So, uh, and also, I just want to say thank you for the, um, I just want to say thank you for the, uh, let's see, let's see, where am I? I just want to say thank you for the uh, 1,516 subscribers so far, man. Dude, you guys are amazing, you know. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for all what you're doing. And I hope that it really makes an impact in your life. Amen. So uh, let's continue on doing this. And see you guys next time. Bye.